is Cotton Pearson sickness due to him pretty much turning his back on God? Can't nobody answer that. No believer in Christ should try to tackle that question. Nobody knows. But at the same time, we know it's not good. to pick a fight with God and preach something, preach stuff that the Bible forbids. No way that a person like Cotton Pearson should do something like that. You know better. He knew better. A man grew up in church, been in church all his life. Minister, went to Bible school, went to college, all that. Bishop, at some point, he knew the truth. So there ain't no excuse to go against God and start preaching and pushing stuff that he clearly forbids. You don't have to have a, all them degrees and doctorate and go to and, and, and go to Bible college and all to understand that what you read in the Bible is true. There's one thing I like about Geno Jenner. Bible college don't make no preacher. It take God to make a preacher. A lot of these preachers go to Bible school, go to college, get all them doctor degree, get all the understand, and they go and they go completely against the scripture. Apostle Paul talked about that. Why we just can't accept the scriptures for what they are? We don't got to add to the scriptures or take away. Just preach what the Bible say. You got to go to no Bible college. And a lot, there were a lot of preachers say, Bible school just makes people dumb. And we see this over and over, over again. Bible college don't change the scriptures. What they do, it just kills you Kill the stuff that you know of the scripture. Fill you full of theories. You put you put one of them preachers up against a, a, a God taught preacher. They fail. You can't read now. You you can't read the Bible and understand that sin is sin. Well, you ain't went to Bible college. You don't understand the, what the identity of sin is. You got to learn and know what the, what this word means. Uh, there's a bunch of hogwash. Cardinal Prison is a prime example. Just open the Bible and preach the scriptures. Preach what the Preach what the apostles preach and talk. They didn't ever say nothing like that. People want to change the Bible for money reasons and for personal reasons. When the uh, when the uh, 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 prosperity gospel took off, a lot of preachers admitted that they changed their doctrine and started preaching that for the sake of memberships. For the sake of money, popularity, because that's what the people want. You forsaking the truth for a false gospel that will bring people into the church, and all you're doing is sending them to, setting them up to go to hell if they follow that. It's danger in turning against God. I will say that. Then you got Christian, so so called Christians. Talking about praying for him. What you praying for him for? Did he repent? Come back to God? Or, or are you praying for his healing? But the Bible say, don't be them God's speed. Somebody like that, that man turned away from God. It don't matter he been in the church all his life. 
he decided a long, long time ago that he was going to push what he feel. The gospel of inclusion for whatever reason, personal reason or for money reason. He going to push that gospel, which is a lie. Paul said, if any come preaching another gospel, let them be a curse. I did a short on this a while back. That man is considered to be a, to be an enemy of God. Pray for Carlton Pearson. We're going to pray. Pray that man. Rebuke that man. You good celebrity Christians. Y'all ain't never rebuked nobody. Y'all ain't never stood for the gospel. Y'all cater to the people. Console people. Don't give them the truth. Don't tell the world, yeah, that's wrong, or they wrong. He shouldn't be preaching that. Y'all just, then when somebody goes, well, we're going to go public. We're going to pray for them. Let's pray for them. How about speaking the truth of the Bible? You ain't got to get on it. You go public and let the world know we praying for him, you praying for them and all that. You do that, keep that private. But you praying for the enemy, somebody that's already established long time ago that they going to preach against the scriptures, preach against God, cursing God to the faith. That's a preacher. That's a bishop. Somebody that knows the truth. No excuse for that. The Bible says you you bet off if you, if you didn't know the truth. Him and Larry Reed, Jordans and all them, I seen that for them. Where they were sitting on stage somewhere pushing that stuff, talking that gospel, including him and some lesbian lady. Call herself a bishop in the church. Y'all want to rebuke people. You people with name tag, with names. Celebrities, y'all want to rebuke folks. Celebrity preachers, y'all want to open y'all mouth and, cast, and call out people. And y'all holding office of bishops. It's your duty to rebuke people that ain't doing right in the church. Y'all want to do it, so somebody got to do it. It's wrong. Y'all let that man and people like him run around for years pushing stuff. And y'all know, y'all know that stuff is strange. Y'all talk about the stuff in private. Oh, he shouldn't be doing it. Ooh, it's wrong. It's wrong. But y'all won't open it, rebuke. And that's what the Bible called for. I'm talking about preachers. The reason why a lot of y'all won't open and rebuke other preachers is because you compromise yourself. You, you're afraid they might open their mouth and say something about you. The homosexuality stuff been bad in church for years. Kojic, Baptist, everybody got their problems. It's time to pull the cover off this stuff. If you, if the church really want to be right, the way the the way stuff going now in the world, it would behoove us to try to get right. Time out for playing church. Ain't no secret why some preachers have been passing church 20, 30, 40 years and they ain't never had no wife like Donna McClurkin. I can't blame him for his past. He ain't default, but Man shouldn't be passing no church. And every time you see him, he's speaking in tongue. Openly. And the Bible says something different. Every time he get in front of him, ain't nobody interpreting nothing. It's time to get this church stuff right. 